my dreams coming when true. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, fair or right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come run the money up with me, nigga. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right. All right, man. Since I'm on the phone, it ain't too much I'm finna cut. I'ma keep it authentic. I don't know how I look on this camera. Ignore me if I sound like shh, shh, shh. Cause I got this grill in, bro. I gotta, I gotta get used to talking with it in. And I'm finna keep it authentic with y'all. We finna come with a story time, man, nigga. So, Europe, what's poppin' to the Caddy Young? It's your boy. Let me get in the middle. Supreme Caddy, man. We back in the cover some more videos. Now, off rip, as you can tell, bro, the whole camera look different, bro. Like, I feel goofy, bro. Like, I feel like it's too much, it's too much space. Like, y'all niggas can see, I'm so used to being this close up on the camera that, like, since I don't know. But look, so basically, this will happen. DDG, I feel weird with this grilling, but I, I want to keep it in, bro. You know what I'm saying? Can y'all even see it? Y'all can't even see that, motherfucker. I might as well just pop it out, huh? Pop it out. And they stole my case to my grill, but look. So DDG just had a show in Houston, right? You know what I'm saying? I posted on Instagram, should I pull up? Because I know I got a lot of supporters that watch DDG, so I'm like, should I pull up to the show, right? A lot of, like, probably 400 people voted yes. You know what I'm saying? Mandatory. Both of the options was yes, but 400 people voted mandatory. So I'm like, bet, I'm going to pull up. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to go by myself. <clears throat> so I hit one of my bros up. You know, shot by D-Mill. That's the dude who shoot my music videos. I'm like, bro, you can come to the show with me if you want to fade. You know what I'm saying? It's at Warehouse Live. It's going to be DDG. You know what I'm saying? He don't really watch YouTube. So he like, DDG, who is that? And I'm like, hey, a YouTuber, bro. He started doing music and stuff. He be doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, all right, bet. You feel me? I'm going to see if I can get the car. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't, he he be pushing in his mama car. So I'm like, bet. Just let me know, bro. You feel me? And then um, what happened after that? I was sitting at the crib waiting on his feedback. I had bought my tickets day, days before offline. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all boys told me y'all wanted me to go. So I bought mine days ago. You know what I'm saying? But I hit my other bro up, Sammy. I was like, bro, you trying to pull up to the show with me? You know what I'm saying? DDG perform. He know of DDG because he watch YouTube. So he like, bet. Yeah, I'll push up. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see what the what the ticket's hitting for. And how you going to get there? I was like, I'm going I'm to Uber there. I'm going to live there because I ain't know a bro was going to be official with the ride yet. You know what I'm saying? So he like, bet. He brought his ticket. His homeboy was supposed to go with him. But his homeboy didn't end up going. He just bought two tickets. You know what I'm saying? So my other homeboy, the day of the show, I go to, um, I went and did all types of stuff. Bro, it was yesterday. I went and got a haircut. I went and got some brand new, brand new Calvin Klein tees. With these, I already got some brand new Calvin Klein tees, bro. You get what I'm saying? The white one, the black one, and the gray one was in my book bag. So, <clears throat> I, I went in, I got all this new stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get fresh for the show. Me, my supporters, all type of stuff. So, um, bro, tell me, he's like, oh, yeah, come through with the car. You get what I'm saying? But I ain't going to be able to get no ticket. So, I'm like, babe, I got you, bro. I'll buy your ticket. So, I bought bro a ticket. It was $14 a piece. You know what I'm saying? I bought him his ticket, and then we went down there. This is just like, if he, if I'm pulling up with him, buying his ticket is just like paying for gas, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I bought his ticket. I was $14. I bought it at the, at the door, though. I couldn't get it online because it said sold out. I actually thought we weren't going to be able to get in. You know what I'm saying? But I know how shows go. They let you sell a certain amount online, a certain amount when you pull up. You know what I'm saying? And um, we pull up to the show. Right? I'm going to keep this story time short and simple. My other homeboy, he pulled up like probably an hour before me. He was there exactly at like 8.20 or 8.10. The show started at 8.30. The doors opened at 8. You know what I'm saying? And he texted me like, bro, where you at? I'm like, bet, we on the way. You know what I'm saying? Me and bro didn't end up getting to the show until about what? Ah, I want to say like 8.50. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get to the show until about 8.50. 9 something. It was probably 9. 9.04. I think it was 9.04, right? So we get to the show at about 9.04. We pull up, it's downtown Houston, right? And we trying to find a parking spot. It's Buku. Everybody parked along the sides of certain spots you can't park in because you're going to get your car towed. You know what I'm saying? So you can't park in certain spots. They got $10 parking, right? Mind you, I'm the only one in the car with money. Bro ain't got no money on him. You know what I'm saying? That's why I bought the ticket. So when it's time to go to the $10 parking, I don't carry cash. I only keep a card on me. You know what I'm saying? So we pull up to the $10 parking. Dude was like, bro, this cat in my backyard again. I ain't finna show it though. But look, dude pull up to the $10 parking. I mean, yeah, the nigga burn out running. But look, dude pulled up to the $10 parking and he was like, um, oh, they probably don't take cash. And I was like, well then let's just let like let's just turn around. He told me, nah, it don't hurt the seat. So we asked him. We was like, you take a car? He was like, nah, only cash, bro. So with that being said, we can't park in the $10 parking, which means your car gonna be secured with nobody breaking into it and stuff like that. Bro, cats literally can jump fences. This nigga just jumped the fence. Like, I don't know how to explain. He got sticky things on his hand or some shit. I don't know. But look, um, 
We ain't parking at $10 parking. You know what I'm saying? So we had to find a parking spot along the curb. Now, mind you, bro, I'm from Houston. My papa stay on around, you know what I'm saying, that area in Houston. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I know how it, I know how they operate. I know how we go. Your car will get broken in like that, bro. Easy. You know what I'm saying? It's everyday action down there. So it's not new. You know what I'm saying? But for me, it's new because I'm never downtown. Like, I don't have no reason to be downtown. You know what I'm saying? And neither, neither do I ever drive downtown or park downtown. You know what I'm saying? So this is... I, like, I would have no reason to be looking out for this. You know what I'm saying? So, when uh, Bro Park, we was trying to find a parking spot. We going deep. We, the show, the warehouse live, like, way back here. We done made a left, another left, a right. So, the car deep off in there to get to it. You know what I'm saying? And it's downtown. It's so much going on. So, it's people just posted up, standing around everywhere. So, you're not looking at people like, okay, he posted up right here. It's people by everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So we just trying to hurry up and get to the show. Bro trying to make sure he could park right there. It said no parking from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. We, mind you, we just pulling up 904. So it ain't nowhere near 11. So I'm like, bet, we just going to have to come out here at about 1030 and move the car. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, bet. So he getting his camera and all that, right? I brought my camera so I can vlog, You right? I was talking to my daddy earlier. I was like, yeah, I'm going to the show. He was like, you got your camera? I was like, yeah, so I can record me at the show. You know what I'm saying? I had my laptop because bro wanted me to edit some files for him. And um, what, why was that? I, that's why I brought my laptop because he wanted me to edit some files. And again, I had to upload some videos for some people. You get what I'm saying? I had some promo reactions. I had the um, young boy reactions to drop. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's why I got my laptop. So I had a backpack. As a YouTuber, you it's mandatory to keep a backpack, keep all your stuff in because you never know what you're gonna need. You know what I'm saying? So I had a backpack. We parked right here. And now that I think about it, bro, I wasn't thinking. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't thinking. Somebody had just pulled off that parking spot. We've seen the first parking spot. It's on the curb, right? So this is the curb. This is the curb. No, this is the, let me make it. I'm trying to make sure so the way y'all can picture it. This is the curb. This is the car. It's cars in front of it. He slid along, parked on the curb, right? Right? So this is the driver's side. This is the passenger side, right? It's bushes right here on the passenger side covering up. It's like two bushes like this, right? And I'm the passenger door. It's two bushes right here. Not thinking about it. If you if you know how this going, you grew up like watching movies and knowing about this lifestyle, you will know. That's a setup. You know what I'm saying? They right by your car under bushes. They can easily get right there and be picking a lock or something, not be seen because they under the bush. But we not thinking like that. We trying to hurry up and get into DDG DDG show. Mind you, the, my nigga, and this is another thing. I hit DDG up, right? Y'all boys wanted me to perform. I hit bro up. And I did it unprofessionally. I came last minute. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, bro, what's up? I got a lot of supporters in Houston. I can open up for you. You know what I'm saying? And I could, I can even front you a bag if you want, if you want to get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? And you let me perform for you, right? He told me, his brother told me he don't do that. The promos do it. The management do it. That, that's how shows go. So I'm like, cool. Me, I'm thinking this is YouTube. Ain't nobody finna be open up for bro like it. He just performing like his music. Ain't nobody finna just be opening up, right? The show started at 8:30. This nigga didn't come out till 11. 11 bro before he came out and i will never hate on nobody watch all my reaction videos all i do is show love show love every artist before this man was garbage garbage bro i'm listening to these bro the speaker right here bro my ear ringing i, I yawn 10 times i'm gonna just be like i'm like bro what the where's ddg and my ear hurt like i just did that and that be aching you know what i'm saying I'm like, where is DDG, bro? All these garbage-ass artists. I didn't even think nobody was going to be opening for them. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is trash, bro. Like, I'm literally listening like, oh, my Jesus. Like, this is pitiful, right? So, it was. It came to the point where me and my bros was finna go. You know what I'm saying? We was finna leave because these dudes performing. We ain't seen DDG yet. The show started at 8.30. It's about, it's about to be... This. It was about 10.40 when they started saying, DDG, DDG. You get what I'm saying? So we like, okay, he about to come out. Mind you, we got to leave at like 11. You get what I'm saying? The car parking spot and some, and some old stuff, right? So bro come out about 10.50. You get what I'm saying? He performing. My nigga not even thinking about um getting his car. You get what I'm saying? Before that, let me let me go back. Before DDG came out and all that, we was like, he was like, did I lock the door? So I'm like, I don't know. Did you? We was moving fast. He was like, I don't know. Let's go see. So we, we going out to go see if we locked the car door. And they tell us you can't get out. Like, you can't go out. No going in and out the show. So once you go out, you done. And once you come in, you either stay in or stay out. So we like, dang. Like, we might as well stay in. I'm thinking. If we would have went out, we probably would have caught them bro breaking into the car at that time. That's probably when it was happening. You know what I'm saying? Because they see, they probably watched us leave and go all the way to the thing. And they then start breaking into the car right then and there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we was stuck in there. 
DDG finally come out after all these garbage niggas perform. I'm in there maddest, bro. When I tell you I'm so mad, bro, I ain't never been that mad in my life. I'm like, at first of all, I've never been to a concert. This is my first concert, right? It's DDG. I'm showing love. I rock bro. Been rocking with this nigga since he used to get college tickets and parking in the wrong spot and all and some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm rocking with him. Very supportive. And I wanted to perform. Especially I seen these, bro, when I tell you all this garbage. I didn't. I wish. I, I wish I could show y'all some footage, but I didn't even want to record these niggas to waste my 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 footage, bro. I'm telling you, it was that trash, bro. Like that trash, bro. I, it's crazy. So look, DDG finally come out. I'm losing my voice. I'm in mean, there, big bag, big rat. I'm screaming. We going crazy. We didn't forget all about the car. It's about 11:30. He ain't supposed to be parking there from 11 to 3 a.m. He ain't even worried about the car, right? So the show finally in. This nigga show started at 8:30. Bro came out at 11 and performed for one hour, bro. The show was done by 12. Nigga, we came here at 8.30. You know what I'm saying? Like, this bitch started at 8.30. You feel me? I'm expecting to see DDG and turn up. But the show was live. Don't get me wrong. Nigga, we was in there going crazy. My nigga performed Javinci about three times. Um, DDG, I don't know no SKT. That uh, Big Bo disc about three times. I noticed the same song. He played Hood Sound. All types of stuff. We had Taylor Girls in the back. CJ um, CJ So Smooth. Now, what's the nigga? Uh, what's their name? Carmen and Corey. Uh, the other YouTubers that stand with them right now. Um, Kennedy. Everybody was in the back. Everybody was back there. He was doing his thing. Turning up before... After the garbage niggas left, you know what I'm saying? And I'm losing my voice. I'm teeing up with bro, because I rock with. This nigga music, right? So it's time to leave. Mind you, my dude that's with me, bro, shot by D Mill. He, 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 he shooting, he taking pictures, he working. He getting pictures of DDG. He getting filmed in the DDG, he working. He probably the only nigga in there with that big old camera working in the middle of the crowd, doing his thing. So after the show, everybody leave, a couple people stay in, his management, his DJ leaving. My bro with the camera, he went over there and get his manage, his manager number. He chopped it up with DDG. DJ, he chopped it up with the upcoming artists that was performing before, bro, and all that, right? So then we leave. I'm having a good time. I'm feeling myself. I got my grill in. I got my jewelry on. I, I, I'm feeling myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling nice. I just, my first concert was a success. It was much love. I'm teeing up. You know what I'm saying? I was act, not, I was a couple people trying to act too hard. Like, damn, I'm in there creasing my shoes. I'm turning, jumping. Like, I'm teeing up. You know what I'm saying? So we leaving. We taking pictures on the way out, right? This downtown, bro, mama know, she told him, um, do not get my car towed. That was the only that was the only thing she told him was do not get my car towed, right? So as we leaving, we taking pictures. We for, it's eleven thirty. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even worried about it. We're not supposed to be there from eleven to three a.m. And mind you, bro, I'm from Houston. I know how they rock. So I when I left my stuff in the car, I went in my wallet. I got my debit card. I got my cash app card. I got my ID because I know these broke bummy people down here are grimy downtown. Ain't nothing but fiends down there that's gonna try to rob you and steal your stuff. Some broke niggas that cannot go work for themselves. Most likely. You get what I'm saying? Because anybody that's working for themselves, you ain't got time to go steal nobody else's stuff. You know what I'm saying? Only broke people get happy about seeing somebody. If I drop my phone, only a broke person gonna be like, trying to see if I'm gonna pick it up. Somebody that go buy 10 iPhones gonna be like, hey, you drop your phone. You get what I'm saying? So, I, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just know they was bummy, bro, but I didn't think it was going to happen to us. Like, I was being precautious getting my, 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 um, my, uh, what was that? My debit card, my cash app card, and my ID. I was being precautious because I know how these niggas rock down here. They thieves. You know what I'm saying? So, I got that, but I can't bring this big old laptop in. You know what I'm saying? They already metal detecting, checking us, so I, what I look like coming in the bag. So, I put it under the seat, but under his seat, it got like a stop thing. And it going halfway under the seat, so it's halfway under the seat. My backpack was gray and pink. You know what I'm saying? It's all great with a pink pouch. I have my camera in there that I shoot all my reactions with. I have my laptop that I upload all my videos with. I have my cologne. I have my um my cologne. My brand new Calvin Klein tee. Some bummy nigga finally happy he get to wear some name brand clothes. I'm glad I was able to uh provide you with that. He um got my 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 clothes, my shirt. Um, all my stuff was logged in. My YouTube logged in. My my um all my emails was logged in but i'm pretty sure he could you feel me somehow watch this video because he see all my youtube stuff but if it's a fiend they probably don't know they probably just trying to sell it but i logged out bro you know what i'm saying so to the person that probably got my youtube logged in on the laptop though i'm way smarter than that i got two-factor authentication now anytime you try to log in they gonna call my phone because i just try to log in from two different phones and they blowing i'm blowing my own phone up so have fun with that you know what i'm saying i just changed all my passwords have fun with that you know what i'm saying and i wish I, now that I think, I wish I would have left it on there. Because it showed the last 
location. I wish I could have left it logged in so you can get on there and fit around and we gonna pull up on you. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could do that, but I, I, I thought too fast. So look, we taking pictures. We come around the corner, right? All the cars gone, right? Cause mind you, you ain't supposed to be parking there from 11 to 3 a.m. All the cars gone. Bro, look, and I can't see for nothing. Bro, look, he like, oh, he thought his car was gone, but mind you, we parked by some big old trees. So the trees was kind of blocking. He seen his car, he's like, oh, I thought the car was gone, bro. I was gonna have a heart attack. My mama told me don't get the car towed. We seen the car, so we like everything all good, right? We walk into the car, and I get to the car, and it's feeling like it's too good to be true. Cause I know Houston like the back of my hand, bro. I know downtown these niggas is this is not new, right? So I walk up to the car, and mind you, I cannot see, bro. I wear glasses. I'm looking at the window. I'm under the trees, cause like the passenger door is right here, under the trees. So I'm under the trees. I'm staring at the car like this. Cause I can't see. So I'm trying to see, why is it not shiny? Like the window, why is it not shiny, right? Why is it looking like it's so clear? Like it's see-through. I'm looking like, what the fuck? So I look down and I see nothing but sparkling. Nothing but glisten, right? It's nighttime, so what's glisten? It's glass. So I stick my arm through the car window and at that point I was like, oh, we got it. You know what I'm saying? When I stuck my hand through there, I was like, oh, it happened. You feel? I knew it was gonna happen and I wasn't really mad because I got my money out. As long as I got my, my revenue out, my ID, my most important stuff, I still left my wallet in there. They went in my wallet and it took $5, so I know they bummy. You actually going doing all this for $5 in a t-shirt and a laptop and a camera. The laptop and the camera, you came up. The shirt, you probably came up because that's probably the most expensive clothes you ever put on your body. You know what I'm saying? So you came up with that, but $5, bro, you really went in my wallet for $5. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even worry about the $5. That's why I left it in there. I did. I, care less bro i took my cars my big money on it but five dollars bro really what you bought some tussie rolls bro come on now you know what i'm saying so he stole my five dollars he stole left my wallet you know what i'm saying thank you for that um it ain't name brand anyway you you, you could have stole that but he left my wallet took my backpack when i seen my backpack was gone bro i got a bad attitude but i i, I can handle it i can like i have self-control i'm heated in the inside but i'm not showing it I'm heated, right? I'm like, bro, they got my laptop. I was supposed to drop videos today. People paying for promotions. People want their videos uploaded. You know what I'm saying? All my stuff is gone. All my videos on there, All my everything was gone, bro. My camera, what I make videos with, everything was gone. Like, it's nothing I could do at this point. My money, my all my stuff, bro, is logged in on this laptop. My face is on here. Somebody looking at me on the laptop on some weird... Crack baby stuff and I don't know who it is. Got my whole identity on my screen right now. I don't know who it is. Probably going crazy to me right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who it is. My laptop didn't have no password on it because it was brand new. I just bought it. You know what I'm saying? So they broke into the car, stole only my stuff. Only my stuff. Because my stuff was on the passenger seat, in the passenger side. Well, what they did was they broke the window, reached in, Grabbed the backpack, left. They didn't even think to check the rest of the car. So I should have put my stuff in the back seat, but we wasn't thinking. We honestly wasn't thinking, and I honestly thought since it was under the seat, wasn't nothing going to happen, bro. But I forgot what we was. I forgot what, what we was at. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's downtown, bro. That's by Third Ward. It's by a lot of hood areas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I forgot. I, I was so busy thinking about this show and missing out on my money and to rush in to hear these trash niggas perform. It's not even DDG. That's what made me so mad. I didn't got my stuff sold. A $500 camera. I had a DX01. That's an iPhone Apple camera. That's $500. You know what I'm saying? A $500 camera stole. Brand new laptop stole. Just to hear some bump, some, some niggas perform that I do not know. If it was DDG, I probably wouldn't be as mad. This nigga came on for about 30 minutes, bro. And the other niggas took up the whole show. And I got my stuff stole for that. That's why I was so mad. I'm like, bro, this is my first concert, bro. And this, and then I, I, that's why I was so mad, dog. So my camera gone. That's why I can't really grind as much. But you know what it is? And I just gave a woman, like, I just blessed the woman earlier with, like, $10 for nothing. She was selling beads, and my mama gave her three. And then what the fuck? I came back and gave her 10 because I was like, okay, here go your $10. I didn't have money on my car, money earlier. Like I told you, I only carry a car. I went and got some money off the ATM and gave her $10 just to bless her. So I'm like, okay, I'm handing out blessings. I don't walk around robbing people. I'm not out here in the mix no more. You get what I'm saying? So like, I, I thought you get what you give. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's karma. But how is karma happening to me? And I ain't did nothing to nobody. I just handed out a blessing earlier. 
And then my stuff gets stole. So I get the opposite. I ain't stole from nobody, but my stuff gets stole. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm so mad. I be in church. I'm being positive. I'm doing the right stuff. I'm making my money legally. I ain't stealing from nobody, but it's happening to me. That's why I'm so mad, because I'm living my life the right way, and negative still happen. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I just came to realize? God work in mysterious ways. I've been telling y'all I want to get a camera for the longest to start vlogging, right? But I haven't been doing it because I felt like I already had a camera, so there was no need to purchase a new one, right? I don't got a camera now, so I got to go buy a vlogging camera. So that means vlogs on the way. We're going to look at it positive. Now I got to go buy me a vlogging camera. Vlogs coming soon. More videos coming soon because my last camera used to heat up. All that. I had footage of my old setups, my YouTube setups, my, my beat up rooms. So y'all can see where I came from, all that, but... We're going to look at it positive. I got to get a new camera. I can bring more videos. My camera ain't going to heat up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look at it positive, right? That's how we're going to do it, bro. So the people that stole me, to stole my stuff, police don't care. Hey, look. And as we looking in the car, right, my bro with me, a car ride past us. And they like, they stole your stuff too? We like, yeah. It's a man and his wife. His back window busted. And he was like, yeah, they just did that to my, my photographer guy. They stole his camera. They stole my bag with my laptop in it. So they came up. And the whole sidewalk, the whole side of the street filled up with glass. Like it's glass, 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 glass. Like they just busting windows, busting windows, and busting windows, and going in people's cars, right? You know what I'm saying? But look, let me tell you what you did, bro. You came up for the moment. You got to understand this life. God got a certain way for people to live. And you ain't got to believe in God. You can believe what you want to believe in. But just know at the end of the day, you're going to hell. Just know at the end of the day you're going to hell. Because one, you're stealing. You're a thief. Deceiving. You're lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you idolizing. you worshiping materialistic stuff. For you to steal and do all this, you 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 worshiping materialistic stuff. You know what I'm saying? Only bums going to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you obviously was a bum. So I'm going to let you slide, and I hope you, you, you do good with that tea. Let me read you the instructions on how you can wash it so it can last you longer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want you to uh, have your brand new tea and run out. It run out real soon. So let me see how I done. See, I, let me not, I don't even want to open this, you know what I'm saying? But just try not to wear it out too much. Wash it one or two times, bro. It probably lasts you for a good two months. I know you need it. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, we finna grind. I'm gonna grind off the phone for here for, for right now. You know what I'm saying? You see how long this is? I haven't made a video this long in forever because my camera would have got overheated. But now I can do that. Thanks to you, bro. You you really just showed me and it showed me how to be grateful and, and appreciate what I got, cause it could be gone like that. You know what I'm saying? I was getting lazy with my videos. I wasn't really uploading like I used to, right? But you just stole my camera and my laptop, right? And just showed me that, hey, nigga, this can be snapped. This can be took from me. What videos you gonna record now? This could be took from you like that. You just showed me that. So now, guess what I got no choice but to do? Grind. Now I'm finna get back on it because I see life ain't always gravy. This this could be took from me any moment, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, vlogs coming soon. Thanks to you, bro. And a lot more. As you can see, I'm not hurting. I got a $1,000 game to set up sitting behind me. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone. This ain't my only phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Another phone sitting right here recording on another phone. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not flexing on my viewers, but my viewers, you should see where I'm coming from. I know the bum watching this, the nigga that got my laptop, because he see all my stuff on there. You know what I'm saying? I just want to let you know that I'm living gravy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere in Katy, Texas, probably in the Beverly Hills area. You know what I'm saying? Like, doing nice. You know what I'm saying? Real nice. So I ain't hurting at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just got you a quick little buck. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to deal with God. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm still sitting nice and pretty over here. My subscribers, we still putting in work, bro. Hit me up on my social media. All links in the description down below. DDG, bro, you got to pay for this, bro. I, how I get robbed? For, I robbed at this nigga show and dude barely performed. This nigga barely, bro, performed an hour, dog. An hour. Nigga, DDG, I came to see you, bro. It was four niggas before you and every song was like... Man, if it went hard, I would get them niggas their props. Like, oh, yeah. One song went crazy. I'm telling my bro, I'm like, oh, yeah. Hey, he got this one. This go. Then he came back on with some. Wah, wah. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting to see DDG, but DDG turned it up. I'll put some clips at the end of this video if y'all want to see him. And uh, I'm finna grind, bro. We back on it. We back on it, man. To the people that paid for promos and I couldn't get y'all videos up, bro. I'm sorry about that. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all I'd give y'all another reaction for free. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, that wasn't part of my plans, bro. You know. I wouldn't have wanna have my camera stolen. You know I ain't lying. Cause look how wide this is. My videos never be this wide. I'm usually always up in the camera like this. But now I got room to be way back here. Cause they stole it. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's cool, man. I gotta bring our boys some more videos. At the end of the day, they gotta face the man upstairs, and we still gonna grind, my nigga. We still just, I'm finna bounce back from this so heavily. Just watch, bro. Just watch, nigga. We at 130, we finna hit 200K. Grinding, man. I appreciate the love and support. I gotta bring our boys some more videos, so now we gotta start the video. Let's get it, man. Nick, know the 50,000 on my wrist. Every nigga with me, real rich. Niggas having pressure by the bitch. I got all my cases dismissed. I don't go back and forth on the internet. Real niggas don't get into that. I'm trying to get in on my for real. I'm trying to get in on my. Me and my dogs, me and my dogs. We trying to run your house.